Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Obaseki Shaibo in game of a presidented loyalty. Hello, everyone. Uh, how are you doing today? Whatever time we're reaching you, a very warm big thank you to you. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if this is your first time. We really appreciate you. Our news reaching us at the moment is that Ambaseki and um, Philip Shaibo are in a game of unprecedented loyalty. We know for starters that um, Philip Shaibo is truly, you know, a, a friend and a brother to Obaseki. All that happened during the re-election of Obaseki and himself, you know, the way he stayed with Obaseki. For starters, in case you don't know, Philip Shaibo is related to Oshomole, but he stood against his uncle to stay with Obaseki, you know, because, I mean, he believed in his idea, in his in his rule, in the way he rules government and um, the aspiration and what he intends to do for the people of Edo State. Now there is a game of unprecedented loyalty. Let's get on and get all the details. Unlike the, unlike four years ago when he took over from his immediate past predecessor Adam Sushomole on the platform of the All Progressive Congress, Governor Gordon Obaseki and his deputy Philip Shaibu will on Thursday. November the 12th, 2020, be sworn in for the second term on the platform of now the People Democratic Party. The inauguration will climax a tough election marked by political BRICS mastership and integrity that nearly integrity and the turn of event that nearly turned Edo State apart. But for the residents of the electorate, who stood, their in, who stood their ground to make sure that their governor uh, was elected again to rule them as they believe in his form of leadership. Today, we are describing what is actually going on through reality of things. But like on the last past 1999, we had desperate and despise and uh, Madam Kufu and the rest of them, long-haired former uh, Governor Bola Tinubu in Lagos, leading his own replacement of uh, Femi Pedro. The battle between former Governor uh, Oji Kalu and Abia State, you know, all these were battles that happened, but all that did not, you know, affect the foster relationship between Governor Gordon Obaseki and his deputy Philip Shaibo. They proved other wise with loyalty to one another which was well spelled out and the ticket even when PDP wanted to separate them Obaseki insisted that him and Philip Shaibu are a pair and the ticket stays as one after the September 19 election Obaseki pulled a total of 300 and 309 307-955 to defeat his rival, Pastor Sage Ize Iyamu of the APC, who scored 223-619 out of the 557-443 accredited votes that was accordingly returned, elected by the Independent National Electoral Commission. The election phase has brought to an end the era of godfatherism in Edo State, but one personality whose style of politics would resound for as long as the issue of loyalty remains in the state is the incumbent deputy. Philip Shaibu, who is also a long ally of the former national chairman, APC Oshomole, caught his political teats as student union activist when he became the national president of the National Association of Nigerian Student NASA in 2000, from where he dived into mainstream politics to become representative of the ESA, ESA West in Edo State House of Assembly for eight years. After serving as majority leader in the Edo House of Assembly, he was elected into the House of Representatives as a federal lawmaker representing federal constituency for 18 months, where enriched his profits as a grassroots politician. As a state lawmaker, he 
had nicknamed Mr. Constituency since he was able to attract not less than 49 projects to the area. Throughout the 18 months he spent in the lower chamber of the National Assembly, Shaibu and Nine had nine projects to his credit. In the runoff of the governorship election in Edo State, especially during Obaseki's face-off with Oshomole and the consequence orchestrated disqualification of the incumbent, Shaibu maintained loyalty to Obaseki, expressed readiness to sink with the ship if necessary. In an interview below is the September 19, 2020 election. Shaibu told Edo people how their former boss wanted him to join Sh Shift Camp knowing that he, Shaibu, was close to the member-elect of the Edo House of Assembly. This was because I spent eight years as a member of the Edo House of Assembly and about 18 months in the House of Representatives. I have good goodwill among the lawmakers because of my own style. According to him, Oshomole wanted me to use my goodwill to remove Obaseki and succeeded him, but I refused. It is not in my nature to betray anyone. If I did not betray Oshomole when I was NASA president, he was Nigerian Labor Union president when I was offered money to get Nigerian students out of the planning strike then, and I did not betray him. When I, when I was chased with money and a plot of land in, Ma, in Masata, Abuja, to support his Oshomole impeachment for Baseki, when I was in the State House Assembly, I cannot betray my own governor at this time. And I said I don't have these traits and tendency. I pleaded with Oshomole. I knelt down before him that this government is doing well and we are taking the politics of this place to another level. I begged him that no matter what Baseki has done to him, he should forgive him, let the bygones. I knelt down and pleaded, I am your son, please forgive him for my sake. But instead of listening to my plea, he said my action was indicated that I have sidelined with the governor of Baseki. I stood up and told him that I... If you know, if you want to remove the governor, you will have to remove him. You will have to remove both of us. But you cannot see me, to, you cannot use me to chase him away. If the governor leave, I leave. The truth is that I hate oppression. When Oshomole was being oppressed, we fought on his side. I was battered. My family was at risk. I was chased out of the law quarters. But I stayed with him because I believe that you don't betray the people with you. So my people, these are some of the attributes of Philip Shaibu standing still true to the cause no matter what. Leave us a comment. Bye for now.